once you have learned the skill of having a value and a combo type and programming them into a field and able to do it one at a time in terms of certain situations or certain people, you may start asking the question, what now? This is just a fundamental skill, which we're starting with. We're starting with just one value and one combo type. And in some of the other videos, I might have shown you that the movement from one conversation type to the next conversation type is the real subtle skill that I think you should aim at in that you may start with a welcoming conversation and meet someone. And then you can go to maybe a clearing conversation where you get anything out of the way that shouldn't be there. And then you might go into an enrollment conversation where you bring them into the idea that you want to bring them into. And then maybe a negotiation conversation where you actually negotiate an agreement. And that's like a four-step process, which you can take people through, which can be part of your business system. But it's, it's something you sort of have to master each step along the way. And most people who are very good at things like this, they have already mastered it. It is something they unconsciously do. But for someone who doesn't know how to do it and they're learning from someone or they have to figure it out themselves, you have to move through these conversation types <clears throat> consciously in the beginning and then into a more fluid use of the, of the structures as you get better. And so this is the end of this part of the course. And I'm just uh, saying that you've probably jumped into something which is pretty exciting for you because there's so many different options and there's so many different things to learn. And I just suggest to you to look at the other tools of the new paradigm toolkit, look at the other card sets uh, within the conscious communication card deck set and start to play with all the different combinations. There's no end to the amount of uh, uh, creativity that you can use with these tools together and i just suggest you to follow your intuition read the context read the person read the situation and then use the tools in whatever manner that you see fit and that you'll probably do quite well with that in the long run as a as a rule